It's a great day, Buckeye Nation, because the two guys with me in the studio here getting ready to drop some Buckeye knowledge on you a little bit later. The Jackson McCoy podcast comes out around noon. Watch for it on the podcast page at 610WTVN.com. But, uh, Stanley, always great to have you in. Matt, uh, good to have you here, too. Uh, you, you feel like you're going to have to referee between me and yeah, Stanley. Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, because I had the conversation with you about the California pay-for-play yeah, 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 yeah. act, and uh, you let your feelings be known. You like the system the way it is. Stanley's for it. I'm against it. Stan uh, and I, for years, have talked about this topic, yeah. and Stan is very much in favor of uh, athletes getting more than just a scholarship. Well, see, I won't. I wouldn't categorize it as pay for play, because you're paying. You're playing at school, and you're getting a scholarship. What this is allowing players to do is make money outside of that. So, for instance, if Subway wants to come and take one of the quarterbacks for USC and say, hey, come do a commercial for us, he's actually going to work for Subway. He's going to do the commercial, and he'll be paid for that. Uh, If he shows up and does an autograph session, he's going to work and be paid for signing autographs, which pros get to do. And so it's not like the schools are paying for it. I love that approach. I don't think schools should pay for it. If the colleges started to pay, you'll see a bunch of colleges do away with their sports programs, and I don't want to see that. Um, at the same time, how do you pay other non-revenue sports? Mm-hmm. And remember, with this, we're only talking about maybe the top 5%, if that high. It might be the top 2 or top 1%. Most college players are not going to be signed up by Nationwide to do commercials. They've got Peyton Manning for that. <laughs> but the select few will have the opportunity. And I just love the fact that they get to you know, participate in capitalism Why in college. I'll make them set up a tax ID number. You got to pay taxes on it. Mm-hmm. You can make as much money as you want, but you got to do it properly. I, I don't understand what's wrong with that. When you think of regular college students, regular uh, academic out scholarship college students, they can make money. They can make all the money they want. They can work a regular job. If they were to come up with some great invention, they can still go to school, maintain their scholarship, and get paid for that invention. So I just think it, it balances the playing field. Yeah, the Big Bang model doesn't work there. See, the Big Bang Theory, the guys came up with a thing, and then they had to sign over paperwork that said the university owned that. So if I'm a kid at Ohio State, like you were telling me, hey, if you're an engineering student, you come with some new bridge design, you get it patented, uh, they get to keep that money. The university doesn't own that. Huh? Well, I, I guess it, it, it depends on how you develop it. If you develop it you know, using Ohio State's resources and you've signed away something, then obviously Ohio State probably has – some percentage of ownership, but yeah. if you develop it on your own in your private time, okay, and then you sell okay. it, like if you develop some new app, like, like right, apps, if you develop an app and you sell it on your private time, yeah, they're not going to say, hey, you can't make money off that app. Braxton Miller was trying to sell Avacare on his private time, and he was told, well, you can't do that. Why? Why can't he sell Avacare? Yeah. Because he's an athlete at Ohio State, where every other student at Ohio State could sell Avacare. It's an interesting point. Well. Gene Smith's concern about the California law is... You know why he's concerned. Why is that? Because if you're a top 25, top 50 student athlete right now in football or basketball, California just passed that rule. Well, you want to make money. Why, would you, why wouldn't you go to a California well, school? Well, his concern is now <laughs> that's not going to go into effect to 2023. He actually right. was complimentary of California for putting a delay on it to give the NCAA time to react. He's on a working group that is looking into this, name and likeness and all those things. His concern, though, is that if they don't figure it out, you're going to have an uneven, uneven playing field with exactly. California. Ready. Florida's coming up. Uh, oh, it's it over. Has a has a law that they're working on. Uh, Pennsylvania. It's and over. he says we either have to have federal's uh, uh, federal <laughs> involvement in this to no. make it even everywhere, wherever it no. goes, or it's just not going to be a fair well, playing field. Federal involvement? Does he mean the NC two A? Well, the NCAA is working on it. Just a national. Let me say, Gene Smith. Gene Smith admitted that the NCAA has dragged its feet on this. That the train is moving and it's going in a certain direction, and they're now trying to catch up. You know who could make this worse? The federal government. (laughs) They don't make things better. (laughs) Okay, hold, hold, hold hold that thought. I got to do traffic and weather. More with Jackson and McCoy. More with Jackson and McCoy right now. Matt, you got one more question. Well, the thing I was going to bring out, the concern that Gene Smith indicated going forward in terms of name and likeness and where it may go is that it's regulation. And here's his example. You gave the example of Subway. Okay, that's traditional. Everybody thinks of that, you know, or a car dealership or something, an athlete getting a sponsorship. Yep. His concern is, you know, he mentioned, have you guys heard of the app Cameo? I had not until yesterday. It is a basically a shout-out app where you can get some celebrity to, 
if you wanted to get your wife Laura a shout out from you know who's her favorite celebrity, or she doesn't have one. Whatever, some celebrity. Denzel Washington. You can. Ah, ah, there are celebrities. If you go to the app yeah. that for a hundred dollars you can get you know so and so for two hundred dollars you get so and so. He's talking about what about that like with college athletes? How do you regulate that? And Ohio State, and he actually was saying Ohio State would have a huge advantage over other schools, and that's a concern of his, that it would be, there already is an uneven playing field. But that's capitalism. Alabama and all those schools. Don't they already have an advantage? But he's saying, okay, then you get Stan Jackson, quarterback at Ohio State, and you're going to have some alumni or something say, Stan Jackson is going to give $100 shout-outs. Here's $100, here's $200, here's $300. You better believe it. You better believe it. But he's saying, how do you regulate that? Then that you start you know running into issues where there's so much stuff on social media now that can Here's be done. Here's how you regulate it. Here's how you regulate it. Pay right. taxes. That's how we regulate capitalism. You pay taxes. <laughs> you help the economy grow. You pay to pave streets. He's worried about in unscrupulous people like there are yeah, already listen, I, coming in and creating yeah, but they, now, jobs. Now, now we take the cloak and dagger out of it. Now, you know, we know how much they're getting paid. We know what they're doing because now you don't have to hide it. Here's the reality. When you're quarterback at Ohio State, you got 100,000 people booing you when you actually have a career best game. (laughs) So because of that, you should get some perks because if you go to a smaller school, you don't have to contend with that. And Ohio State already has an advantage. That's why they have a recruiting advantage. That's not going to change. Well, And he said that it's going to create a bigger advantage for the – and even though he works at Ohio State, he's just concerned about that. That's Uh, that's some of the things they're working through in the working group. I wish you had the camera on right now. Stanley Jackson's eye roll is fantastic. (laughs) Roll those eyes. Roll those eyes. Well, because he's teetering for the next job. Here's the reality. It's over. Once California passed that rule, it's over. Every other state is going to have to do something because the playing field will be teetered towards California. Or the NCAA has got to catch up. They have to because now Pennsylvania is doing a Florida. Florida you think Florida's going to let their talent go to California, go to no, USC, go no. to UCLA? No. I'm surprised Texas isn't in on it already. They're next. Yeah. Yeah. And Ohio yeah. has to follow suit. Has to. Has, has to. to. Hey, before you go, uh, you were – first of all, shout out to Stan because – is he I paying thought, $100 for this, or I forget no, how this I goes? Thought the, uh, the, I thought the Nebraska game would be somewhat close, but Ohio State would oh, win. And I he did nutted have, it. Absolutely nutted it. He was saying it. they have no chance. Nebraska yeah. has no chance. Right Ohio State's going to kill right them. And you were dead on. Uh, but you also said last week that this week's game yes. worried you more than last week's game. It does. Even though it's home and everything. Why? It does. I just, Michigan State plays us so well. D'Antonio gets it, and his team is always prepared. He plays the underdog better than any coach in college football. Now, I'm not saying that the game is going to be close because this Ohio State football team is special. Yes. But to me, if I looked at the the weeks ahead, two weeks ago, this was the game you circled. This is the problematic game. I think they still can handle them if they play the way they have. But but this Michigan State defense is scary good. Well, and the question is, can Michigan State's offense score enough points? No. Can they protect Brian Lewerke? I don't think the offensive line is good enough, but we'll find out. Yeah, I don't think so either. It's 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 for me. It's a run deal and final four, and give me Alabama or Clemson or whoever because I'm ready for those games. But Georgia, how about you get Ohio State and Georgia? So you got Justin Fields playing his old team. I would so much rather play LSU and see Joey Burrows out well, there. Well, I would you, love you may get that, that too. Joey oh, I would Burrow, love that. Or you could get Alabama, and Oklahoma with Jalen Hurts going back. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of storylines there. Would set be. Up. Yeah. Speaking of good stuff, more later. Gotta listen for it. Podcast Jackson and McCoy, powered by. Jermaine Toyota. Make sure you watch for it on 610WTVN.com.